Just off New Cross Road is the Bond House Project Space, home to the Zeitgeist Arts Project. The idea behind it is to support artists um, with a series of exhibitions and also uh, a programme of professional practice, talks and events. And we're both artists, so we just kind of do fantastic projects that we really love. From the 17th of November, Zap will be displaying the work of 41 artists in the Zeitgeist Open exhibition. We decided it didn't matter to us that there was a celebrity artist or a really big name curator. In the end, we had 557 people apply. Each artist who applied was asked to submit just one piece of work. The submissions were completely anonymous and the entire panel of judges saw every entry. The Joe Wood Drawing Competition, um, which often has three or four thousand um, applications a year, that's done anonymously and I really like that. And it means that you are judging what you're seeing on the image alone. When I looked at the manifesto that Rosalind and Annabelle had put together for ZAP, I thought it had a lot of integrity about it. It was obviously an investment in the artist. The exhibit displays a range of work. Um, so this piece is by Ben Cove, and it's called Trans. It looks very human, even though it's constructed of these strange uh, assemblage of wood and hard things. Claire Mitten's um, sculptural piece, much larger than life headphones. This is coming into the spring, so this is the snowman of winter. They're very literal, my paintings. And this is the spring summer rising. There's a lot of work here that's quite daring in, in some senses, um, but also just really of its ownness. There's a lot of artists that have a different mindset in this area. There's a, a sense of um, the collective. It's a fantastically sort of symbiotic, collaborative studio space where we all kind of help and support each other.